So I don't think that 4.3% is enough of an indicator to suggest that the Fed is going to cut in September. Now, I did write on Ghost Report and on Twitter a article that suggested that I have been privy to information on somebody who's in the inner circle that sits on a bank board uh, got a memo from the Federal Reserve talking about these rate cuts. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on, we got Tokyo Rose Nicholas here. Nicholas Maduro Moro, Venezuelan nationality, place of birth, Caracas, capital district. You're doxing Nicholas Maduro? Slash 11 slash 1962 father. You're, you're, wait Maduro a minute, Garcia you're doxing mother, Nicholas Teresa Maduro? Jesus Moro de Maduro ID, 5,892,464. Are you kidding me? Reef. V O five eight nine two four six four O state where you voted car. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. I don't know why you're doxing Nicholas Maduro. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. But hey, that's the community. You know what I mean? Anyway, Schofield Rex said, uh, "What's up with the shady shit you did in 2020 to get Trump elected?" Actually, it was in 2016. Now I don't want to relive that. All right, but you can. It's it's all documented. You can figure out what I did. Anyway, once again, uh, as I was stating, 4.5% in economics classes, at least when they traditionally used to teach economics, was considered full employment. And I believe that these cuts are probably going to come in at the end of the year, probably in the November and December meetings. I would not put much bet into a September cut. All right, unless there's something dramatic that happens, if we move from 4.3 unemployment to 4.6, 4.7, that's when the possibility of a September cut is on the <laughs> table. And we got Shadow the Hedgehog. Disgusting <laughs> creatures, get out of my sight. All right. Disgusting uh, we're creatures, dealing with get stop out of this my crap. Sight. Disgusting <laughs> creatures, Listen. get out of my sight. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, creatures. shut up, you racist prick. Anyway, we got Tretchman. If you were in the position of holding cash right now, at what Dow score interest rate, or uh, or would you start thinking about moving money back into the market? So that's the kind of position that I'm having right now. It's a bearish position, and you got to kind of stomach a little volatility, <laughs> but it pays off in the end, you know. I hope everyone is enjoying my movie. Would you like to watch my movie, Ghost? We can even find a wheelchair accessible theater for All you. Right, if you yeah, want. real funny. Happy asshole. Baller Friday and make sure to watch my movie on Baller Friday. W yeah. W. All right, thank you, Deadpool. All right, thank you. Wait a minute. That, that, we already heard your stupid fucking message. Skip the shit. Uh, anyway, uh, Cy uh, Tesla Cyberheart said Shadow is part black, so he's not racist. I, I don't know that for a fact. All right. But anyway, as I stated, watch this unemployment number. If it goes up in the August numbers to anywhere 4.6, above 4.5, that's when a September rate cut is probably in the, in the play. But uh, once again, it's showing that initially turned people off <laughs> from e-commerce and then the 99 crash. Ronald Dion DeSantis. 44 years old. No, Born don't stun, no, skip that night. shit. You're fucking doxing Ron DeSantis for crying. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't think that there's much right now, at least what's out currently when it comes to AI, that really is swooning anybody after this initial pump and dump of the AI stocks. Anyway, TCR chat ain't working. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. God damn it, man, stop pissing me off! All right? I'm trying to do it. Look, if you don't like the way it sounds, if you don't like the fucking way it looks, then get the fuck out of here, all right? It's Baller Friday. Go fuck off. If you don't fucking like it, get out of here. I don't give a shit if it's loud. Get out. Get the fuck out. Jesus Christ. Sorry, folks. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, do this show here. And, of course, everybody's got a fucking complaint. You know, I'm just a guy trying to do a goddamn show, and everybody's got a goddamn complaint. Here, let's fix the chat. Let the, I've turned down the goddamn microphone. I don't know what the hell's your fucking problem. All right? Jesus Christ. Excuse me, folks. All right? I was having a good baller Friday until, much like all these, uh, you know, never mind. Just, just shut up. All right? Just shut your stupid, stinking, salmon-smelling hole here. I'm trying to talk about the markets, man. Anyway, we got it. We are, we're up now. We're up. Everything's good now. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell that does. I don't know why it does that. Don't say boomer versus tech, you pricks. 
Anyway, as I was stating, before I got rudely interrupted by a bunch of people that just wanted to piss me off and uh, waste my time, all right, because we're having such a downturn in the stock market, I have no idea. I have no idea. And Jag the Lux oh, no. I'd buy that for a Wait dollar. a minute. Here's an audio file by Mega Max. You know All what? right. This is Baller Friday and shit. I'm gonna put something for a ghost right here. What's that? This is Baller Friday. What's that? It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down oh, Friday. Oh god. Everybody you're gonna more work. Mega Max, you piece of crap. But what do I expect? What do I expect? Y'all were trolling me with this song back 13, 14 years ago or whatever the hell it was. 15 years ago. And by the way, Mega Max, don't call up to Radio Graffiti the next time I have it and art. Hey! Hey! Anyway, for all those that don't know, this is the guy that tries to claim that the black man invented the peanut, and we always have this debate, and this guy insists that the black man invented the peanut. How the fuck do you invent a peanut? Anyway, Jag Deluxe Ray with a rumble rant. Hey, Ghost, happy Baller Friday. I have two movie ideas if you do movie night. Uh, Psycho and Vertigo, old movies. I saw an AV class at school. Also, Shadow the Hedgehog is a black furry. Well, oh, great. That's what I. That's, that's. I didn't really need to know that information. All right, but thanks a lot, Jag Deluxe Ray. He went out there at this black woman journalist convention and said that uh, Kamala Harris misled voters about her race. Oh my God, dude! And look, it was bad enough. Uh, what is it? The base department. Oh, look, it's another day of ghost regurgitating news from questionable sources. The AP? Thank you once again, Supreme Leader Ghost Joe Moon. The Associated for this Press? News. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, what are you? Go fucking look uh, Crowder, louder than Crowder or some shit for your news? Fucking idiot. Uh, Rock's ass, hope you're having a nice ball or Friday. Didn't even notice it was Friday. When is the next ghost show? Probably Sunday or Monday. I saved $100 for exactly 10 pepperoni pizzas to eat in your honor of your 40 pounds of chicken wings. I don't eat 40 pounds of chicken wings, all right? Uh, cat cans with a $5 rumble rant. Uh, have you ever seen a wild banana? What about an avocado? That's not, how, that's not a Haas avocado. What about an old-fashioned watermelon? These things have to be genetically engineered. Well, thank you for informing us about that. No kidding, man. I typically eat avocados from Mexico. I'd buy that for a dollar. And dude, who the hell is this? I hate to interrupt your I just wanted to point out the X account the other day right wing cope is ran by a pedophile sympathizer. You really do know how to them after all. Well, what was posted wasn't untrue. Uh, I don't know who the fuck these dumb people are. And by the way, I mean, it seems like you have a lot of those characters going around on both sides of the political spectrum that have fiscal conservatism, that believe in a strong foreign policy, and other tenets that used to encompass the conservative movement will take control of the Republicans again. I want Kamala Harris to finger her black Oh, Jesus, I mean, come I mean mixed live on television so she can squirt all over Great. Trump. that's horrible. But not miss unlike the yeah. rally shooter oh, in Pennsylvania. No, no, shut up, all right? I don't know who the hell donated that. You're a sick piece of shit. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is that Trump seems to be so desperate that he's doing the biggest mistake and playing racial politics. And then he said again in some other random pop-off in some fucking interview that single people... I'd buy that for a dollar. And I'll get to you in a minute, Croppy. I'd buy that oh, for Jesus. a dollar. There's a theory that super sweet sweet corn was created by exposing seeds to nuclear explosions. They'd bury seeds and canisters all around the test a shot, which means they'd survive, but still experience a massive pulse of ionizing radiation. Great. Bye, Tooth. Yeah, thank you, El Foxo. I appreciate the insight on corn, all right? But you're the kind of guy that probably runs backwards in a cornfield and gets gratified. But uh, anyway, put the PC shot on. We got Froppy. You're talking nothing but facts about Trump right now. I'm waiting for all the Magatars to go, my rigged election. All Kamala has to do is an event at an anime convention, and she'll win by a landslide. I don't know about that, but thank you, Froppy. I appreciate it, man.
And then we got Mad Thad here. Bro, you are a DNC shill. Everyone, and I mean everyone, says Trump came out on that conference looking good. Are you fucking nuts? He looked like an inconsiderate prick. I mean, he looked horrible like every fucking woman out there is like, what a fucking bastard. Look at him. He has no respect for women. He has no respect for black people. What is a black job? anyway? What is a black job? I mean, seriously, man. I'm surprised he didn't come out there and just be blatantly racist and call these fucking poor people b all Americans or some fucking sick ass shit like that. I mean, he might as well at this point. All right, I don't know. Matt, that I get it. You know, you got your biases and you're going to vote for this guy or whatever the case might be. I get it. It ain't going to happen, man. All right. I know you're saying, oh, sin is in and you know, nobody cares about conservatism anymore. I disagree with that, Mad Dad. I disagree with that. What I'm getting from a lot of the young people that have been sexually promiscuous, either bisexually or, you know, heterosexually, is that they long for wholesome and innocence. They long for a society where it isn't judged based upon decadence and vanity. All right? They long for that shit. Why do you think 80s movies are so popular amongst these young people? Why do you think that uh, they want to go back to the past in something that they've never experienced? Because right now, these people are recognizing that they're alone. They can go and get banged. They can have sexual promiscuous sex with whoever the hell they want. But at the end of the day, they're alone. And they have nothing. They're nothing. All right, they're nothing more than a sexual playground for some random stranger. And at some point in time, that person who is being used like some cum dumpster is going to look in the mirror and say, is there something more to life than this? And we're starting to see that resonate, in my opinion, with these young people. And I refuse, Mad Thad, because you have already submitted to sin and degeneracy. I refuse to believe that young people and, and everybody's just going to submit to that shit. It's a temporary situation. It comes in cycles. Watch. In the next five to ten years, we will be conservative again. We'll be conservative again because of people like myself and other conservatives that want to bring back some tenets of conservatism back to the GOP. Anyway, he was showing shades of 2015 Trump. Really? <laughs> All right. Uh, he went to the lion's den and came out unscathed. Only shills are saying he lost. You've lost your touch. Whatever they have on you must be big because it ain't the ghost I grew up listening to during Junkyard America. Well, Matt, that I'm asking you and any other MAGA supporter, please give me the distinct difference between the Democrats and MAGA right now. Give me the distinct difference. There is no difference to eliminate immigrants from coming in. I want them to come in legally. Legally. I think we should annihilate the last bastion of canonism. We will be forcing Jag and Sapphire to be the All sacrifice right. to the Republicans right. so that we may yet ensure that Trump does not come back. Right. While that bozo can't debate a cop, we must be 100%. Well, you got a, you got a point there. All right, You got a point. Uh, but anyway, look, I, I, I'm just tired of you people being like cult of personality this is a government made for the people and by the people and if we're just going to sit on our thumbs because we have a cult of personality and not validate a legitimate piece of legislation because it wasn't pushed by my favorite fucking politician then we're in some serious trouble we're in some fucking serious trouble in this country anyway duke orville we need a wall on the canadian border more than our southern border if you ask me yeah no shit duke orville and nobody ever talks about that Right, nobody ever talks about these anti-American Canucks that are coming over here and trying to make us even more left than California, for fuck's sake. No offense to my fellow Canadians over there, but, you know, we got a few of them that patronize this show trying to be pro-Trump when they should be fixing their own ice hole up there with that goddamn love child of Fidel Castro, and I'm talking Justin Trudeau. So give me a break. But anyway, I didn't mean to go off of that soliloquy about all that shit. I was actually talking about J.D. Vance, once again, the worst president ever, or worst vice president pick ever, excuse me. I have yet to see an American, all right, talk in this capacity. I, I Look at this. This is on my, this is on my Twitter, all right? I, I, I tweeted this last night. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at this, all right? Former immigrant, now going political. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, just saying. And this is her campaign ad. All right, this is it. Listen, listen. These 
should get their own category because before if a man hit a woman it used to land him in jail now it gets you a gold medal at the olympics these are the worst olympics in history they have made a mockery out of christianity and women and let me remind you there's no such thing as a chick with a dick keep women sports females all right look at that valentina valentina gomez running for the missouri secretary of state all right and that's an immigrant right there. What did I tell you folks when it came to immigrants from Latin America? They're mostly conservative. All right? They don't like the kind of social landscape that many of you people that disagree with it ain't doing shit about. This is a young immigrant woman that's out there wanting to eliminate a certain portion of the contingent that is forcing everybody to accept males in female sports. All right? All I hear from many of you maggotards that patronize my show is a bunch of flapping of fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard talking a bunch of malarkey, but you ain't doing a goddamn thing. All right? And now you've got some young immigrant chick coming out here now that she's granted her damn citizenship. She's coming out here and she doesn't want to live in what you people are completely okay with. She's out there trying to do something about it while you people are sitting on your fucking thumbs, pulling it out of your ass, and then putting it in your mouth because that's all the bad taste you're going to taste for the rest of your life because you're fucking losers and you don't want to do shit but bitch and moan. All right? Bitch and moan. Oh, yeah, by the way, let me get back to Trump. All right, let me get back to Trump here. I didn't mean to go off keister. I'm just trying to tell you that you folks out there that are just talking garbage, like many of you people in this chat room that are talking shit, what are you doing for your community? What are you running for, for Christ's sake? You know what? I, I've, I was a lifelong Republican up until this election. I actually fundraised for the Republicans. I actually uh, did call banks for the Republicans. I organized events for the Republicans. Until the Republicans turned into whatever this leftist fucking variant, Obama 08 variant bullshit that it is today. The hell with that. All right? And Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight, what are you doing about it except bitching and moaning? Hey, I'm trying to convey ideas out here to motivate and inspire I've got a bunch of younger people that are just sitting there getting their thumbs bruised on a video game and wasting their fucking life. If they want to play a game, why don't you go play this politics game if you're really passionate about these issues that many of you claim that you're so passionate about? Huh? Why don't you go sit on a fucking local board? You don't even need to be elected. You just got to volunteer your fucking time, you fucking idiots. You don't do shit. Uh, you don't do fucking nothing. You people make me want to puke. All right, no wonder America is being taken over by Juan Valdez and his daughter Valentina. The fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, Viking Kyle projecting 101. Hey, Viking Kyle, I know that you're a fairly decent, well-off dude. What the fuck are you doing? You come over here and piss and moan and talk about Hitler all night long when Hitler died fucking years ago and he ain't coming back. All right, so what the fuck are you doing? You ain't doing shit. All right, but sick to pissing and moaning, all right, and waxing your fucking carrot to an old dead Hitler, all right? So shut up. Jesus Christ. And what is Mega Max 578? Nah, put this beach in a beat down. Are you talking about Trump and that black broad? That's very ironic of you. By the way, Mega Max 578 is one of my blacks, as well as uh, Mad Thad. And look at how these guys are talking out here. They don't even know whether they're coming or going, for Christ's sake. I mean, Mega Max, you think that the black man invented the fucking peanut. How the fuck are we going to take you serious? And Five Finger Prostate Punch, you didn't address what I said, and you just redirected it. These people are basically hoping the fence used is going to bog down the system and get away. All right, whatever. whatever fuck. Look, listen. Five Finger Prostate Punch, you need to worry about your kangaroo banging ass over there and down under. All right? I mean, you guys are in a little more dangerous territory, totalitarian-wise. I'm sure you're already vaxxed. I didn't have to do that. All right? I didn't get vaxxed. I never got vaxxed, never got tested, never got COVID. All right? So get some. And President Jay says the guy riding Carmella and the Democrat. Listen, I, I don't like Carmella, Car Carmella, whatever her fucking name is. I don't like this broad. But I would rather have the Democrats landslide than to have these fuckers representing the Republican Party being in charge again. Some fucking sex trafficker like Matt Gates that we got to take credible? Are you fucking kidding me? 
Some stupid, dumb, bimbo, Sarah Palin 2.0, Lauren Boebert, for Christ's sake. Uh, some stupid, dumb, fucking half a dyke bimbo and Major E. Taylor Gray, whatever her fucking name is, for Christ's sake. These are the people, these hypocrites. Give me a fucking break. So when you, when you supported Trump, what the hell does that mean, Mega Max? All right, go fucking invent the peanut or some shit. Jesus fucking Christ. And by the way, I mean, if you didn't think that the black woman's convention and the showing Trump did over there was bad, take a look at this. I, I, you, I can't believe this. Critics stunned by Donald Trump's heartless punchline about the man killed at his rally. He's the old codger that's running at the mouth and saying whatever the fuck and not actually campaigning. Not taking into consideration what he says means shit to people. Jesus fucking Christ. And look, the Five Finger Prostate Punch said, hey, I'm not vaxxed. Well, lucky you, all right? Because most of you folks down there got fucking horribly, you know, let, let, let's just put it that y'all, y'all, y'all were forced to do shit. Let's just put it that way. All right. <laughs> I'd buy that for. All right, hold on. Let, let me let me get some of these damn donos here because I'm sure people have something to say, and I'd like to fucking uh, respond. Put the PC shot on. Here's Mad Thad. Kamala Harris is not black. She doesn't come from our black American culture. My culture is not a mask you can put on when it's convenient. Mad Thad, I disagree with you on that. I mean, look at Eminem. All right, look at this fucking idiot little pump. All right, look at these fucking losers out here. I don't I'd think so. All right, I don't think so, Matt Dad. The bitch everyone is angry about isn't even trans. She was born with a vagina, uterus, and ovaries, and doesn't have a penis, never has. She's intersex, in the sense that she has zygote chromosomes. She wasn't a former TCR listener. Calm down. Yeah, well, Luma. it doesn't matter. They, that fucking f genetic freak shouldn't have been there, all right? Shouldn't have been competing against women, all right? And with all due respect, Mad Thad, I mean, everybody has taken the black culture, all right? I mean, have you, I mean, the black culture is what everybody is emulating right now, man. I mean, you go up to some fucking white boy nowadays that's under the age of fucking 35, they're, they're, they're doing this. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker out here talking all that trash and shit, baby. Yeah. I'm growing up in the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? I be listening to motherfucking Eminem and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Growing up in the hood, baby. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Anyway, what else you say? Her fake story about cleaning greens in the bathtub. Uh, her fake accent during the Atlanta rally she just had you ain't uh tapped into black twitter go back to chuck schumer and get some new marching orders these are stale and debunked look matt that with all due respect it doesn't take much to get the black culture g geared towards a certain idea or a certain person i mean Y'all were, with all due respect, since you're making this, because Mad Thad is black, okay? So I just want to make that uh, abundantly clear. The black folks were completely okay bypassing, and I just talked about that incident in the Democrat primary in 08 during South Carolina. All right, this brother, he didn't know anything about being a black man, and yet every black folk in America embraced this goddamn fucking looking like a marathon Taliban runner or some shit. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hello Ghost. We reached out to the email you provided us to inquire where we should deposit your money. We also right. attached the latest script all with right. more anti-Trump rants we want you to continue to yeah, bring up on your show. shut up, all right? We appreciate your partnership. Look, I get it, you people that are pro-Trump. I mean, you're a cult of personality, and this that's how you are. I mean, that's how you're defined. You are no different. It makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense. All right. He's obviously not in control. Obviously. Obama doesn't know what it's like to be a black man in the same way Ghost doesn't know what it's like to be a straight man. Yeah, yeah fuck you, asshole. All right. We got uh, P a Pookie from 713. You're going to stop dissing my N-word Obama. You see what I'm saying? All right. Anyway, once again, uh, Trump saying he's, you know, Biden was not too old to be president because now he's the old blabbering codger now. All right, it's now a generational thing. Let's look at his record. 
You know, is this guy a progressive? Because as I stated, if Kamala Harris chooses a progressive, it's over for her campaign. So it's all about the VP pick, in my personal opinion. All right? And what is this? Uh, Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight. So are you actually a two-dimensional skeleton, or are you sitting behind an avatar? Listen, Eddie, why don't you just sit there and shut your goddamn fucking pie hole, you idiot, all right? I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks, all right? I'm fucking shooting pearls at your asses, and you don't care. So shut up. Anyway, let's talk about his gun stance. Because that's a very important issue to most of us in the Republican Party. I just want to put a point of emphasis that if you take a look at what's going on in Venezuela, which not looking good, and the reason the people can't raise up against Maduro and his totalitarianism is because these people in Venezuela believed the communist hype. They believed Hugo Chavez when they democratically elected that communist that if they confiscate all the guns, that it'll be an ultra-safe society. And that's why these people can, cannot, they absolutely cannot raise up against this totalitarian dictator. And Venezuela should be a perfect example of why those of us in America should protect the Second Amendment at all cost. All right? We should protect the Second Amendment at all cost because if we don't, we're going to end up like Venezuela. And urinator, she goes, but she's going to piss off the Hamas wing of her party if she picks him. Urinator, can you stop getting ahead of me, you prick? All right? I'm going to get to that shit. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Anyway, what's his gun record, okay? Now, take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. Now, this is the only thing I can find on his gun record. Uh, Governor Shapiro budget aims to reduce gun violence. Now, how he's doing this is actually, um, take a look at this. Let me read this to you, okay? He is going to invest 100 <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, cheers to gas, man. I'll read yours in just a second, dude. Now, getting back to Trump, what's the difference between the Democrats and the Trump campaign? Foreign policy. And take a look at this. Trump splits with GOP lawmakers on national security, raises alarm. Uh, we don't, we're not condoning that. You're a piece of crap, whoever the hell did that. Whoever the hell did that, you're a piece of shit. And by the way, let me get to the buy me a coffees because they're not showing up on the screen there. Uh, but Gas Man said, congrats, you passed. Porterhouse are the best steaks, in my opinion. They absolutely are. Uh, you get both the strip and the tenderloin in one. And sirloin at the bottom, uh, and, and you would pass only if you would have used them up and grind them up and made them into burger meat. Well, you know, you do that when they've been in the fridge for a little bit, and you don't, you know, you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't eat them right away. That's when, you, that's when you grind them up into a nice, good, fucking, you know, classy burger, man. So cheers to uh, Gas Man for that one, man. But anyway, national security is now an issue that, is dividing the Republican Party. There's a component of the Republican Party... I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on, we got Mad Thad here. Let me see what Mad Thad has to say this time around. Yeah, it's eerie how every prison fe felt like high school. I adapted very quickly when I got there. People even separate themselves into social groups just like high school. Grown men gossip just like high school also. Best part about it was every Monday when we would get a new bus of inmates in there was a chance we would get a passable trans or femboy I could groom to hump on no homo. Dude, are you fucking kidding? Matt, Dad, we didn't need to hear that shit. All right, we didn't need to hear that shit. All right, folks. Uh, you know what? Where, where's my pipe? Jesus Christ, it's a baller Friday over here. I'm trying to you know, convey some ideas in order to spark synapses in the brains of folks. And all I'm getting is a bunch of jerk-offs, like, you know, talking about their, their femboy experiences in prison or some shit, all right? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, folks. We're going to get back to this, all right? We're going to transition from here into foreign policy because, you know, this is the transitional p portion from domestic politics into foreign policy, all right? So let's go ahead. Where's, where's this? Oh, yeah. 
I have to call the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner in order to get me a new strain of tobacco. I'm still... <laughs> I'd buy that. The hell is this? Bombs dropping at Syrian border. IRGC mobilizing. More bombings at Lebanon. All right, yeah, you're, you're doxing some idiot, you dumb moron. All right, give me a break. Stop doing that crap, all right? If you're going to text-to-speech something, man, make sure it's something positive or a question or some kind of crap like that, man. You make my serious show look like a circus sideshow, and I don't fucking appreciate it, dude. All right? I don't fucking appreciate it one fucking bit. Stupid son of a bitch. All right, anyway, I still got this strain that I had from the last time I talked to you guys. It's called Mary Cone. All right? So anyway, I want to say cheers and happy Baller Friday! To everybody out there who is listening to the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And once again, spread this show across the internet and throughout the world. All right? So cheers. Let's go ahead and take a smoke. Happy Baller Friday. <laughs> Got to hold it in let it hit the brain, all right? <laughs> hold it in let it hit the brain. <laughs> ah, that's better. All right, that's better. Anyway, Trump splits from GOP on national security. Why? Because Trump, for whatever reason, loves Putin. I don't know what Putin has on him. I don't know what he loves about Russia. I don't get it. But they are in opposition towards that, and they are in opposition towards how he wants to direct his foreign policy. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on, wait a minute. We got Jasev in the house. And Jasev said, 10 years from now, when you get robbed by some kid who can't read, let alone spell the word felon, I hope you will tell yourself, hey, at least we ended public education. Ghost is a psyop. Hey, look, j you know, I, I, why do you think that we need public education in order to have decent people in this country? You know, at the beginning of our country, of our nation, all right, right before the Revolutionary War, everybody knew how to read and there was no public education. I mean, you could go and find the most isolated mountain man in the areas of the colonies, and not only could he read, he could also have a perspective and give you an idea on what he felt on politics and economics and that sort of thing. So I, I, I just can't believe that you people think. I mean, you're so programmed to believe that if some child doesn't go every single day and spend more time with some public educator than their actual family that they're going to end up like some kind of a bad person, then give me a fucking break. All right. Uh, what citation needed? Dude, Benjamin Franklin was uh, one of the richest guys in the colonies because he ran a printing press. You would not be able to run a printing press, let alone get rich off of it, if everybody didn't know how to read, you stupid fucking moron. Oh, God damn it, man. It's like you people didn't even go to American history. All right. How the fuck did they create all those writings, man? Like the Federalist Papers and uh, Thomas Paine's Common Sense and all these fuck. How do you think they did this if fucking people didn't know how to read, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you people dollar. make me fucking want to puke. And by the way, what's up, Kits, dude? Uh, my newest member of the IC. Pretty cool guy, by the way, old Kits. Uh, Kits says, since you're talking about LGBTQ predators and are about to get into foreign politics, uh, did you see this clip I posted in the inner circle about Putin? If you want my opinion, old Pooty Poo is projecting is a projecting sack of shit. He has no right to talk about child predators since he kissed a boy's stomach before. No wonder peppermint swirls simps for Russia. So I'm, all right, we don't need we don't need to go there. Then hold on, let's just take a look at what you're talking about here, Kicks. Uh, what is this? Let's see what he's got here. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. Breaking. Wild chimpanzees in Uganda observed eating medicinal plants to heal. Scientists analyzed 17 samples and found antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Injured chimps recovered faster, highlighting the need to preserve these forests. Well, that actually was the first observable moment that chimps used something from the forest in order to aid themselves, which was just observed, and uh, it's, you know, pretty unbelievable phenomena. But anyway, here it is. Put the PC shot on. All right, this was courtesy of Kit. Then to continue to run these fucking hypocrites that we have 
in this damn GOP today. And Duke Orbill hooked it up with a five dollar rumble rant and said, "Ban anime." Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no shit. Fucking ban anime is right. All right. And what is this five finger prostate punch? We was printers and shit. What the hell does that mean? And Camaro RS09. I hope this works since the ruble's been trash. Test three three three. Thank you, uh, Camaro RS09. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you? Are you Russian? For a dollar. Are you Russian? Guys. The Federalist Papers were written by a combination of John Adams, Alexander Hamilton, and a few others. Adams was also a Jew. For real news, Ghana Parliament passes law to quicken women's empowerment. Oh, Jesus a mistake Christ. since my leaders love Hitler. Listen, I understand who wrote it. The point I was trying to make is those works were written at a time where there was no public education and it seemed as if, given the articulate nature of those works during that time, many people could fucking read. I mean, enough people could read to entice them into joining the revolution, for Christ's sake. Because as I stated, 30% of the real estate market is the GDP of China. Or excuse me, uh, the real estate market is 32, uh, 30% of the GDP of China. My apologies. I'm looking at these idiots. I got all these fucking chat rooms here, and these people are all talking trash, and it pisses me off, man. All right? I'm out here giving you fucking CIA levels of assessment, man. I'm giving you the fucking world here. And you people are out here just fucking flapping your fat fucking Dorito stained fingers on the keyboard, you fucking stupid pieces of shit. All right? This is a fucking baller Friday, man. All right? I could be at the bar right now. Instead, I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. You know, trying to get everybody to understand that, hey, I get it, you're a fucking fat, disgusting, pop-marked, fucking red-headed, four-eyed, freckle-faced, beaten stepchild that doesn't care about your life or any of your family's lives, but I do! And I care about this country! I care about America! Unlike you fucking people. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, folks. Anyway... China rejects the $1 trillion rescue plan offer by the IMF, and they're claiming that they're worried about moral hazard and bailout expectations, and at some point, the whole economy is going to collapse on each other, and it could jeopardize the entire communist government of China itself. And hold on, urinator with the... With a rumble rant. A trap. Now you're finally grabbing my attention. That's fucking great. You know what, man? I'm going to I'm going to fucking leave. All right, cuz I don't deserve this type of fucking garbage. All right, I don't deserve this shit, man. I'm out here trying to do everything I fucking can for you pricks. And look at Eddie 324758 and show or no balls. Fuck you. All right? Fuck all of you talking shit. And Silverado dude, was it 3 Poloski 3 Pa 3 Pa 3 Loski? What the fuck does that mean? Fucking put down the pot or whatever the fuck you're smoking there, the Silverado dude. And wait a minute, five finger prostate punch. You keep screaming that you're going to the bar. We all know you can't since they kicked you out for sexually harassing. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Are you kidding me? I, any bar I go into, they treat me like I'm Norm from the fucking uh, sitcom Cheers and shit. All right, Ghost, what's up, man? Yeah. The fuck are you talking about? And Mega Max five seven eight, bro, just relax. We're chilling here, man. Look, I can't relax. Don't you understand that? We're in an election cycle. All right, for Christ's sake, man. America's future is on the table right now. We got a candidate that wants to bow down to China, that wants to bow down to Russia, that wants to bow down to North Korea, and I say that's fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ, man. Let me take a smoke, folks. I'm sorry. I, I know I know I'm getting a little off keister here, but I mean it doesn't matter what fucking chat room you're in. Do you see these fucking useless pieces of piles of human protoplasm that are in here that are just being mesmerized by a cult of cheap personality? Jesus fucking Christ. Give me a smoke here. Please excuse me, all right? Anyway, gotta hold it in and hit the brain, all right? Anyway, China not doing too good, rejecting an IMF fucking loan. All right? And like I said, I don't blame them because they're going to be beholden to the IMF if they can't fucking pay it back. All right? 
Now, while that's happening, we're not fucking bowing down to China. All right, we're trying to we're trying to show China that we're willing to go all the way if you don't fucking bow down. Take a look at this. China issued warning shot as U.S. sinks 820-foot ship with stealth explosives. So we're not backing down. All right, and this is what I like. I like this aggressive foreign policy. You know, during the Obama administration, you would always hear China talking all this shit that they're going to nuke us, that they're going to nuke this. and this. Same thing with Russia. They ain't talking that shit anymore. All right? They ain't talking that shit anymore, baby. All right? We're ready. We're ready for war! We're ready for war! That's what we're ready to do. We're ready for fucking war, baby. All right? And I, as I stated, once China and Russia are no longer superpowers in the international community, then America, once again, takes the new American century forward. America, boy. America! And, oh, wait a minute! Five-finger prostate punch! Here's some cash for radio graffiti. Will you calm down now? That estrogen beer got you crazy like a woman. Look, first of all, I don't want to do radio graffiti first and foremost, all right? And secondly, I'm pissed, all right? This is America, damn it. This is America. And I want America to take the whole fucking score. I don't want America to share the world stage with anybody. Fuck China. Fuck Russia. Fuck North Korea. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. Son of a bitch. And look at Pookie from 713. You're ready to dodge. Yeah, you dodge. Yeah. Anybody that's out there that's claiming that they'll dodge a draft if their number is called, get the fuck out of my country right now, you fucking treasonous bastard. All right? If you people are out here claiming that you're going to dodge the draft, then get the fuck out of my country. Get out. Get out now. Get the fuck out now! You piece of shit! You treasonous pieces of crap! Get out! Get out now! Piece of shit! I can't believe you're living in my country and you're talking like this. I can't believe that you're reaping the spoils of America and you're talking like this. I can't believe this shit! I can't believe this crap! God damn it, man. God damn all of you. 8324758, you're not dying for Israel. You're not dying for Israel, you piece of shit. You're fucking going to be protecting America. You're going to be protecting America. You're going to be protecting America. You fuck. You fuck. <sighs> all right. I'm fucking done with this show. I can't believe that I'm broadcasting to a bunch of spineless fucking cowards. All right? To a bunch of anti-American scum is what I'm broadcasting to. You people that don't chat, that are just observing the fucking show. I know there's a lot of you. Are you seeing these four flushing pieces of milky licking, anal leakage loving, scat snorting, fat slut, tate tonguing, colon tenderizing pieces of shit are saying in these chat rooms? Do you see it? I'd buy that for a dollar. Do you see it? <sighs> Son of a bitch. All right, let me calm down. All right, I'm sorry. I, I got to calm down. I got to calm down. Let me just catch my breath, all right? <laughs> let me just catch my breath here, for Christ's sake. As a combat veteran, I fought for all of your rights to dodge the draft. Even yours, Ghost. Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. All right? Anybody who wants to dodge the fucking draft, I hope that you fucking get the hell out of this country and go live in fucking Russia or North Korea or in China and have a fucking chopstick shoved so far up your ass when they don't want you there. I hope that you listen and remember this conversation. Arrogant bastard uh, hooked it up with a uh, buy me a coffee. So regardless who we get as president wise, besides foreign policy, should we be expecting four more years of the same shit sandwich? Oh, and I forgot. Happy Baller Friday, Ghost. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I'm telling people it's all about foreign policy this cycle, arrogant bastard. <laughs> I'd buy that for That's a That's what we're voting on. All right? That's what we're voting on. So I hope that answers your question. Cheers to you, arrogant bastard. Because outside of foreign policy... There is no difference, all right? 
And Mega Max with a rumble rant. Drink, my boy. I'm not fucking drinking, dude. Are, are you kidding me? Anyway, really makes you think. Hooked it up with a buy me a coffee and said, I don't know why so many years, oh, excuse me, so many of your listeners are saying that they would dodge the draft. Autism is a condition that if you can get a 4F exemption on, it's not like they'd have to serve in the first place. No, we're sending, we're sending autists into the front lines. All right? We're sending them. All right, I don't give a shit. We're sending them. I don't give a fuck. We're sending them all. They're going to be the first line of Operation Meat Shield. All right? They're going to be the first line. And then once Operation Meat Shield has all been, uh, you know, eliminated, that's when we send in the real fucking tough assholes. All right? Type D3, D3, D3 to dodge the draft and leave a country that raised a disgusting deviant like Jag the Luxray. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Then you piece of shit, shut up! Shut the fuck up! Hey, what is this? Wraith 636, Ghost, have a drink or I'm dodging. Dude, I don't want to have a fucking drink right now, alright? I'm not in a fucking drinking mood. I'm trying to be serious, man! Don't you understand that? I'm trying to be serious! Christ! Alright, dude, Look, I have more shit to talk about. I just, I just want to fucking get out of here, alright? I deserve more respect than what the fuck I'm getting from you people. All right? I deserve more respect. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, go drink. Oh, shit. Great fucking uh, support system I got here. All right? Great fucking support system. Anyway, let's transition, no pun intended, to another issue here. All right? Let's talk about Israel since you people love them so much. All right? Because Israel is taking, I'm kicking ass and taking names, all right? Now, we did see an attack yesterday by Hezbollah, which was a very slight attack. I'd buy that it wasn't something dollar. major. Don't, under any circumstances, consider the ice-cold beer waiting in your fridge, just waiting for you to take one out. Oh, come Listening on, man. To the Don't do that as shit. As it opens, an angel choir to your dry lips, the bliss of the soothing sip, the satisfaction. Don't do that Don't shit. Don't do it. Why are y'all got to be jerks and do shit like that, man? I mean, come on. Uh, listen, I, I don't drink until after it gets dark, all right? There's no reason for you guys to be doing this shit. Anyway, look, the reason I say things that make you go, hmm, is because we would have heard or at least seen some kind of major attack already from Iran. Because whenever they decide that they want to get uppity, all we do <laughs> is send in ISIS to blow up a governor or something over there. Guys, it's time for more bitters. We have a fire sale of five dollars no, a pop for no, a video and a fifteen no, dollars don't audio listen to this for fucking radio idiot. graffiti. Send them in while it's hot, hot. God bless. It's time for the shekels to roll in. I'm only at one hundred dollars this show. Yeah. Let's double or triple it. Yeah, I'm only at, I'm only at a hundred bucks. That That's it, man. Dude, are you kidding? Can y'all cut the shit here? All right, cut the crap. But anyway, as I was stating, all right, uh, everything is going to plan. And lo and behold, just like I predicted, Prigo Zin was going to make a move at Putin, which he should have, but, you know, he didn't fulfill it. I'm just predicting the future, <laughs> baby. Predicting the future. <laughs> skip that shit. So, once again, the prognosticator of prognosticators strikes again, baby. All right? All right, they don't understand what they're going to do. They don't know how they're going to attack. They don't know if they're going to attack. They don't know what the fuck's going to happen. And Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight, I'm not, ta not going to fucking say that rumble rant, you sick bastard. All right? Don't talk about my nephew, all right, you fucking piece of shit. What a bunch of crap, man. You know what? I, I think I should just fucking leave, dude. All right? I think I just fuck. I, I'm tired of this fucking shit. I should be at a bar right now. I should be chilling. All right. I've been working my ass off all day with my businesses. I, I I fucking pay everybody at the end of the fucking week on Friday. I'm one of the few businesses that actually pays their employees by the week. All right. Which I think is a fucking perk. I I can't believe people fucking get paid every two weeks. I, there's some one schmuck that gets paid every month. Jesus Christ. But anyway, I had to do a whole bunch of shit today. I'm a little tired. It was fucking 110 fucking heat index out here in San Antonio, Texas, for Christ's sake. All right, give me a smoke. 
Again, I deserve more respect in this shit, man. I deserve more respect. <clears throat> I deserve more respect in the shit that I'm getting here, for Christ's sake, man. I'm providing substance upon substance upon substance upon everything that I say. And because many of you are either a cult of personality or complete and utter idiots, you refuse to even acknowledge the absolute uh, prowess of intellectual curiosity that I am displaying on this internet, all right? And we got trolling the interwebs with a $10 rumble rant. It's a good show so far. Well, thank you, trolling the interwebs. Cheers to you, and I appreciate it, man. I really do, all right? I mean, everybody, uh, they're just not taking this shit serious, you know what I mean? Anyway, before I go, I do want to talk about one more thing before I go. Let's talk about Venezuela. Uh, put the PC shot on. Uh, unfortunately, oh shit, wrong guy. I, hey, where did you come from? Where the hell did you come from? Hey man, I'm sorry, I didn't. Get the fuck out of here! Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted here, alright? Uh, masked assailants have now ransacked the opposition leader's headquarters as the post-election tensions mount in Venezuela, alright? Uh, Kits does a flip, says, uh, no totally useless news. If you don't have any, here's another article I posted in the IC. Fucked up gross shit. Really? Hold on. Yeah, yeah that actually looks pretty interesting there. Kitsch does a flip. I'll, I'll take a look at that here in a second. And then we got Tempe again. Cheers to Tempe. That movie about the whole thing was quite cool. The Nixon one. And by the way, that is a good one. You're talking about Nixon. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just spilled my fucking pie. God damn it. This shit's all over my fucking pants. Shit. God damn it! I hate that shit! I hate when that happens, man! I'm fucking doing all this fucking multitasking and all this other shit! <sighs> anyway, Tempe's absolutely correct. The movie Nixon, which is an Oliver Stone flick, it's rather a long movie, but it's a good movie and it'll tell you everything about what I just explained to you about Richard Nixon. Shut up in the chat! All right? That was all part of Tempe's plan. Just shut up, man. They look, uh, these trolls are starting to piss me the fuck off, man. All right? And Mega Max win his radio graffiti. How about fuck you? How about that shit? You people have ruined my baller Friday, man. I wanted to come here to True Capitalist Radio in order to convey some serious issues here, man. And it always devolves into some autistic fucking trolley bullshit. All right, you know what? Before I get to whatever I'm going to get to next, let me. Where's my fucking. Here's the tobacco. Excuse me. Here's the tobacco. And like I said, the tobacco strain is called Mary Cone. All right. It was. I get this from some Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. All right. He's been. He's been pretty good to me for the past several years. All right. He's actually growing on up, man. He's. But uh, he says he doesn't want to get a real job because, uh, you know, I, I give him the freedom because I buy so much tobacco off of him. I give him the freedom to chill with his fucking Walita or whoever the hell that is all day long and take care of her stuff. So I'm providing, I, I'm providing economic opportunity to minorities. What the fuck are you people doing, huh? I'm providing an economic opportunity to a Mexican family over here. What are you people doing? Here, give me a smoke, all right? Does he pay taxes, Ghost? Hey, even if he doesn't pay personal taxes, he pays taxes every time he goes and gets himself a taco, all right? He goes and get, pays a lot of taxes when he goes and buys himself a cerveza, all right? And you know what? That's the thing about sales tax. I mean, it gets everybody who evades taxes, which is most of you people, But because look, Let's be honest, all right? The top 1% of America pays almost 70% of the income taxes. You know that? I'm not fucking joking around. The top 1% of America pays like almost 70 fucking percent of the taxes in this country. All right? So you should be kissing the 1%'s ass. Jesus fucking Christ. But no, you know, I'm fucking the 1%. Shut up, all right? All right, if you don't like where you are in your position economically, then step your game up and step your chain up, man. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, anyway, look, I, let me take a smoke here, and I'll get to totally useless news. What is it, belligerent Brian? What am I doing? 
well, my countrymen are currently burning down mosques and police stations while I'm railing a black girl. Well, there you go. Belligerent Brian. All right. Uh, obviously, he's in uh, Europe somewhere, and he's got jungle fever. He's got jungle fever. Ain't, 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 ain't nothing wrong, man. All right, at least you got yourself some on a baller Friday. Pookie from 713. So then why do you say only taxpayers should vote if everyone pays taxes? Well, everybody doesn't pay taxes. I'm talking personal income, corporate income. All right, that's where the money is that pays, Pookie, for your motherfucking EBT and the motherfucking free housing shit you got. All right? All right, that's who pays it. Sales tax pays for the municipality. All right? It pays for the police. It pays for local services of whatever municipality that you live in. All right? That's the way it is. Jesus Christ, dude. You, I mean, why do you people go to school if you don't know this stuff? What are they fucking teaching you in school? You know? Jesus fucking Christ. Give me a smoke, all right? Please excuse me. I'd buy that. And what is it, Anonymous? If Iran falls in the coming months, what happens after? Does Russia fall too since they buy weapons from them for the war in Ukraine? Uh. What happened if Iran's fall? Well, Iran, if they fall, you're absolutely correct. Much of the drones that they get. Uh, you know, come from Iran. But remember, this is why Russia went to uh, North Korea. And let me tell you, that was the most shameful showing I've ever seen uh, Putin ever do. I, I, you never even saw him do the type of ass kissing in front of the North Korean people, in front of his own people. You never see him do shit like that in front of his own people. And he kissed the ass of North Korea's little Kim. Remember, they went on a drive... You know, they went on a drive, then Kim Jong-un stopped so they could walk in the park. You know what I mean? Then he waved from the plane like, you know, he was you know, was saying bye to a secret lover and shit. I get, what the fuck? I had never seen Putin act like that. That is a show of desperation if I've ever seen it in my goddamn life. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, are we still doing radiography? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man! Every fucking time, man. Anyway, let me get to let me get to some fucking totally useless news. All right, let's get to totally useless news. Now, I know many of you are single. You know, I know many of you probably have never had a significant other because, I mean, Jesus Christ, if you're this annoying while flapping your fat sausages of fingers on the keyboard talking in a damn chat room, I can only imagine how you are in real life. But you see, what did I tell many of you young people? I told many of you young people, maybe, just maybe, especially you males, maybe you need to go after a MILF. Maybe you need to go after some of these older 40-year-olds that are alone, that have their own houses, that have their own cars, that have savings. You know, because that's what the women are doing. Let me tell you something. If you are over the age of 40 or 45 and you're a high earner, I mean, you're, you're prime targets for 21, 25-year-old pieces of ass. I'm not joking around, man. I am seeing a bunch of older gentlemen out here legitimately getting the best pieces of young tail just because they go out and take them shopping, you know, just because they go out and appease their uh, materialistic needs and that sort of thing. And I don't understand why some of you young gentlemen aren't doing well. It looks like you are. It looks like you are. Take a look at this. More younger men find themselves falling for older women and vice versa. This is where we're at. Now, look, I'm going to tell you, you, you older ladies out there, I know y'all are very excited because many of you older ladies are in your sexual peak. You know, I mean, you, your juices are flowing, you're ripened, and, you know, you, you, you even want more multiple orgasmic pleasures more than you did when you were younger. Now, I get that this excites you. You're going to get a man, a young man who can go all night you know, sexually satisfy you, all that crap. But I want to warn you, older women, that unlike men who find a young lady, and because this older man can appease their materialistic needs, a lot of the times those women will stay with that man indefinitely. And they'll grow old until that old man dies, hoping that, you know, he kicks her back something, that sort of thing. Young men won't do that. 
Okay, young man will not stay with an old bag. I hate to say it. I know it's unfair, ladies. All right? But you got some 20-something-year-old young buck, and you're in your like late 30s, early 40s. All right, as you approach 50 or 60, and this guy's in his prime, like fucking Don Johnson, 35, Miami Vice fucking look over here, he isn't going to sit around and, you know, fuck around with your hot flashes on menopause and shit, you know? All right, I mean, this guy's going to want to bang some fucking tail that, you know, he, he can bang so hard, and, I mean, it'd probably break your hip. He wants to be, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just saying, yo, older ladies that are out here partaking in this activity... Do not think it's going to last forever. All right? Use it for a temporary uh, a Sibian. Never mind. I shouldn't say it. Just look it for a temporary fling, like a temporary sexual playground. All right? But that's it. Now, women, on the other hand, they'll stay with an old man forever. Unless they find another guy with a bigger wallet. All right? That's how it is. I'm just trying to provide a public service for the young gents out there. All right? And Ray said, I've learned in school that beer tastes a lot better when it's ice cold. Cheers, Ghost. Yeah, it absolutely does. And you learned in school. Why the hell did you, how the hell did you learn that in school? Shouldn't be learning that shit in school. Anyway, let me take this other totally useless news. And it's cur- courtesy of Kits Does a Flip. And the reason is because it supplements what I just talked about here. And here it is. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at this. 14 people arrested in Comic-Con human trafficking sting. Uh, Take a look at that. Law enforcement officials said 10 victims were also recovered during the operation at the San Diego Comic-Con convention. So, folks, you understand why I don't like this shit? You know, I mean, it breeds this, like, beyond degeneracy. You know, we were just talking about how young men banging an old MILF or, you know, some young chick banging an old dude. and I mean, that's just traditional coitus and, you know, traditional uh, natural feelings. When you start sexualizing, because that's what many of these fucking freaks do that are a part of these comic cons, anime cons, pony con, whatever the fuck it is, any kind of obsessive convention that relates to anything cartoony or even gaming it's all complete and utter degeneracy i mean especially the anime cons most times when you go to an anime con you see males dressed up as females all right not that's a good or bad thing i'm just saying i mean this is where we're at this is why we have so many single people all right and you know what's funny every one of these anime people that try to claim that oh gosh there's chicks that go to anime con they go to anime con because they know if I mean, in real life, how they look like, they're like threes and fours. They make themselves look like some stupid anime character. They're nines and tens to you dumb anime dorks. And whenever you go up to them, they charge you to have a picture with them. They go out there as, to make money. All right? They, they're not there because they like the stupid fucking anime. They're not there because they like looking at you cross-dressers that are dressed up at anime con. They're there to make money off you idiots. All right? No woman that looks attractive is going to genuinely like this at all, okay? They're doing it because you people are a grift. You people spend money like water. You spend it on useless shit, trash, and that's why they're coming at your demographic. That's why you now have rappers and black people now going towards this demographic, all right? So anyway, that's just the way it is. I know many of you people love anime. I know you're fucking sick, demented people. But much like Mr. Beast, who liked anime, uh, and his fucking transgendered friend, all right, much like most of these people, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't fucking that asshole uh, Penguin Zero, fucking, uh, wouldn't that fucking asshole? All these people like anime. And every time, what, what happens? They're fucking, there's something related to children All right, that comes back to haunt these fucking people. It's always children. And why? Because this is cartoon shit. All right, and when you sexualize cartoon shit, I think that is a a literal thin line of going right into sexualizing children. So that's why I am against anime. That's why I'm against this sexualization of cartoons. That's why I'm against this adult obsession 
over fucking cartoon man-child shit. I'm against it, and I will always be fucking against the shit. By the way, I got an anime coming out in the next couple of weeks, just, you know, just to let y'all know. All right, anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to everybody's favorite part of the fucking broadcast, all right? And I'm talking about Radio Graffiti! <laughs> <laughs> 